And we're back with some more Ixion. And, well, I may have expanded into the third sector. We filled sector one with lots of stuff. We filled sector two with lots of stuff. And then I needed sector three just so we could store all the alloy. Which we've got a decent amount of. We've got about 734 and we've actually gone through all the iron ore. But it's time to move on. We have literally stripped this entire sector bare. So we are going to fly over here to pick up the engine from Jupiter. Yeah, that's... A wonderfully pretty animation, but bye. Done. Now, as we go over there, we're going to have to live off battery power. So I've chucked in what I think should be enough. We've got, was it three, four batteries? Five batteries in this sector. We have another six in this sector. And then we have two in this remaining sector, which is pretty low power. But all of them have got two hospitals. I mean, there's there's pretty much always someone in hospital getting in cured around here. Has occurred in the well, speak of the accidents. Like, we have optimal conditions. Everyone's fine, we have plenty of workers in the sector, but still. They keep just finding ways to trip on banana peels. It, it's like a weird cartoon thing. Hey, have we arrived? Excellent. Uh, prepare Ixion for the Tycoon connection. There we go. That should connect up the engine that's on that planet to our ship. And once it's done, we should be able to leave this sector. Which is good, because right now we're actually running out of resources. We're not mining anything, so... Uh, this is all of the resources we got left for now. And done. Right, what do you got? Uh, installation progress report. Right, final attachment protocols can be initiated via EVA airlock. Uh, dismantle the surplus equipment. Yes. Hmm. Oh, a couple of things I've done on the side when it comes to technology. In here, I got some more science-y stuff. I got the exoskeletons, so now they have deep dive apparatus and exoskeletons. I haven't got them EPK, EKP optimization. I don't care if they move faster, I just want them to not die, if at all possible. And we've managed to accumulate about 100 science passively, which is also nice. Anyway, we'll just finish off this last mission and then I think we get to jump out of here. The, uh, the Vol engine should come back online. All right, engine has been attached. It didn't cost us too much money. And then, once the last of our ships are on board, there was like an asteroid right over there, so I went out and harvested it. And hopefully, yeah, there's been... no one died in the last while, but let's go. Okay, all power-ups in the main grid will be averted, 0.5 cycle charge, preceding ignition, sectors will be powered by batteries during this time. Yes. All ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jaws initiation. That's fine. Okay, batteries are all holding steady. It only takes 0.5 of a cycle, so we should be grand. Ixian engine ready. Okay, let's uh, commence jump, shall we? This time, try not to blow up a planet. We're around Saturn, so it should be much easier for you now. That one's way bigger, way harder to make explode. That is pretty sweet looking. But I'm pretty sure this is the exact same as the last one we looked at. Not complaining. Not complaining. Full jump complete. Well, that's real nice. Running. Okay, let's see what we missed here. Well, according to this doohickey over here, we have about four jumps in us before this thing breaks apart. Each full jump causes irreversible damage to Tyquin's structure. Um, yeah, four more jumps, and basically the whole thing breaks apart. Right, that's, um, that's good to know. That probably means it's going to cost us more to heal the hull. How much are we spending right now? Five. We're spending five alloys, a cycle. Well, that's not promising. Everyone arrived here alive. We have an event available. Right, so we just basically have to follow along. We can't make any of our own jumps or any of our own suggestions. We have to just follow along in the footsteps of others. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Uh, Tegon has left the solar system. The crew is convinced that they will never again see the stars that saw them born. This necessary step will unfortunately accentuate dead Earth sickness. Minus one stability again. What, they're going to draw with even more poop? Like, have they switched to a different type, maybe, or something? Is that what's making it worse? Well, that's good. Dead Earth sickness and dead Earth sickness leaving it behind. Well, I am so sorry. Ooh! The minus one we had from, from staying too long is, is gone. Is it? Yes. The minus one from staying behind is no longer present. We lost that when we moved. We we were perfectly fine to stay there and hollow out the whole area. Excellent. All right, let's check out what we got here. Yeah, that looks like uh, lightning storms. I don't like those. That's bad. Don't want to go in there. I don't know what this is, but I don't think I want to go in there either. 
In fact, this looks far more dangerous. Time to start firing off probes. And, oh, well, no. Time to send the science ship over there. And time to start probing this place up. We need to start probing discreetly. Hmm. Which one's the closest? There we go. All right. A Let's see what this has in store for us. Arrived at its destination. Ooh. So, from what I can see, this is a science mission. Now, save the game, just in case it does something horrible to us. Like, give us another minus one stability. But perform intrusive analysis, set up a temporary study center, or establish infrastructure to study exploration and geological analysis. Thing is, this place seems to be highly toxic, so... Kind of toward between perform an intrusive analysis, or just establish the infrastructure, and I think... It wouldn't hurt me that badly. Uh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. It's fine. Uh, you can resources available 20. Yep, go for it. Done. That means we'll have a cargo ship pop over immediately and drop off the supplies. Once it's done... An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Yeah, I know. It's fine. And how's our working conditions? We have 342 workers to fill 187 slots. You guys should not be having so many accidents. Anyway, let's see what else we've got here. I'm gonna just presume that's a planet. It is D-O something or other. What are you? Comet. Oh, well, we'll get around to that in a bit. First, we gotta... Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna get a second science ship. All right, second science ship queued up so that we can get around to exploring multiple things at once. And at the same time, I'm also sending out a satellite over here because of our probe, because I think there's some carbon which we can turn into polymer or whatever. Because we're actually running short on polymer and I'd like to not run out of probes. We're going to need a lot of them. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's 15, 15, 15, 31, 15, 48, a bunch of ice as well. I'm going to have to start getting into ice. Um, our mining droids are on the way. We have two of them. Once they're finished, it'll be sending out the cargo ships and the cargo ship should be configured to prioritize. Actually, we're going to want you to prioritize the old uh, carbon there. We're going to want all the carbon. Uh, we'll downgrade the iron ore just for a minute because well, we don't really need it, to be honest. We have plenty of it in storage. We've got 635 alloys, so we can stall off a bit on that. Excellent. All right, then. This place is... Actually, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to jinx myself and say anything about, you know, it being N-I-C-E. Well, we found another planet pretty much immediately. There looks to be science on it, and we're going to send out another team. Excellent. Oh, and we got another probe. Time to see what else we can locate in this system. I really do not want to go in there. Uh, that place seems incredibly dangerous, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a planet in there we have to visit. Or... Ooh, let me check. Ooh, well that was a tasty exchange. 60 research? Yes, yes please. Um... We'll take it. Request awaits your attention. That is wonderful and all that, but I'll get around to it in a minute. We're going to launch another science place over, and then we'll see what the next request we have to deal with from these whiny... Ah, there we go. So, it seems the people are worried about the safety of the exploration teams. Um... Promise them that no member of a science ship team will die? No! I'm not gonna promise you anything like that! Uh, we don't know what awaits us, so like... No. Did that hurt our trust or something? Or did that mess with them being happy? Uh... Whatever. I, I was not agreeing to that. I, I can't make promises about what's out there. There might be xenomorphs or those alien chest bursters or God knows what out there. It could be the Empire of Man. I'm not going to make any promises I can't keep. While we're here, I thought we'd try and knock out the tier 3 tech. I'm thinking we want crop farms anyway. Perfect. We'll deal with that science ship in a minute. But also as well as that, we're going to need to get the fusion station. This transforms 15 ice into 40 water. The reason we need that is... Oh, yep, yeah, I should probably do these one at a time. The reason we need it is... These things require water. Harvesting up to 90... Uses an insignificant amount of water to produce a large amount of food. That seems like we'd be getting rid of our free food and exchanging it for harvesting ice to turn into food, but it should be far more efficient. Well, that's the hope. Anyway, let's find out what our science buddies are up to. Oh! They're chopping down the resources. Yep, fine. Take all of those. We'll wait until they're finished with the science, then we'll get him to do whatever it requires. Has completed its scan. Oh, plant available. We will extract the navigation data. Thank you kindly. Now, I've kind of stopped going through all of these things you can find, but this one's pretty handy. 627 iron ore. That's going to be a lot of alloy. Yep, we, we will take that all. Uh, sure, we will determine the cause. 
of the thing's destruction. Brown's it. Oh, also, we have found loads and loads and loads of carbon and a little bit even more iron ore. This place is looking really good on the resources. I'm getting nervous. If they're making it this handy, there's something horrifically wrong around the corner. I just know it. Well, at this place, it seems we have the option to use exoskeletons. I mean, oh, we're not going to research them and not use them. It's got to be better, obviously. It Hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens there. The space exploration out here is going actually pretty well. No one's died. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Okay, we're still getting accidents all the time. I've even changed our policy. Our policy was we were working everyone to death. We're not. Everyone's on normal working hours and still, like, just accidents all the time. I think it's just built into the game at this point, so we'll just have to live with it. Uh, let's check our hospitals. How are they doing? Yeah, we got 16 people in there, zero in there. Also, the bigger the building that goes down, the more people that get injured. Which means, say, in our industrial plant, if this goes down, 30 people get injured all at once. Which means you need at least two hospitals. But we have to demolish the third hospital because we had a minor issue. Uh, by minor issue, I mean the people in here were demanding a, was it, an alternative life center in Sector 2. Well, they were demanding it. They were requesting it quite strongly. So I'm like, fine, you can have one. I'm just going to take away your hospital. Hey, if they live to regret it or don't live to regret it, that's their problem. Ooh. Mining ship has become more experienced. Ship has retrieved more science. Oh my god, I... I so far, we've just been sending out probes. There's one probe heading that way, another probe heading that way. We'll soon be sending out a probe somewhere else, I'm sure. We're mining everything in sight. We're extracting everything in sight. We've got two science ships just ravaging the galaxy. Inside the ship, things have not changed that much yet. However, the uh, the plebs are requesting we construct a new source of food. It seems they're not happy with eating bugs all the time, which, yep, that's kind of fair. So, what we are going to need to put down is a bunch of random stuff. Maybe we're going to need a fusion station. This transforms 15 ice into 40 water. Uh, actually, how much power does that consume? We might need to put down some more power first. That requires 10 power. 10? Jesus, okay, that's going to take us to 44 power. Fine, fine, we'll stick it down. But yeah, that's going to make us turn ice into water, and the water we're going to feed to our farms. Oh, and while we're at that, in this section over here, I think we've got... Yeah, we've got 72... Resin, or whatever it's called. Polymer. God damn it, okay. We got 72 polymer. Is that enough for another solar upgrade? Because I think we desperately need one. Uh, oh. How much is that going to cost? 75. Uh, yeah, we can do it. We'll take it. Why not? Uh, we got a new event, and uh, this feels kind of weird. The Society of Spectacle. Administrator, crew members feel that their quality of life is important to you. Well, as long as you're working, yes. Uh, the fact that you have had time to provide them with entertainment alongside your other numerous responsibilities had led some to believe that you are in fact not human. Perhaps instead a new generation PA or a genetically superior being. We both know that is nonsense. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about right. Trust bonus. Plus 10%. Don't think we needed it, but uh, thanks. Uh, nice, nice to be appreciated and all that. Uh, robots forever and such like. Okay, we've almost got our uh, our excess power done. Then we can finally start putting in this new farm type. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So first, we got the fusion station, which is not actually a power plant. It, it actually consumes power, but it turns ice into water, which we're doing right now. That water we can then feed to a crop farm. A this thing here, its actually pretty expensive to build one of these. Now we just gotta wait until this thing's finished building. We then have to click on it, and we get access to fields, of which this thing can support nine. Yeah, so we can go, give me a field. Uh, give me two fields at least to start. How much do those fields cost? Uh, 16 alloy. Mm. Also increases the amount of power this thing takes, and the amount of people this thing t well is required. So you got to be a little bit careful here. How are we looking on the, uh, the front of people in this sector? We got 142 workers. 81 in use. We might want to change that uh, our policies back to uh, allow for a little bit more stringent whip cracking when it comes to the workers. That should give us a bit more food to work with. And yeah, the colonists have stopped annoying me about wanting more food, so or different food variants. So I think that should get us started. Now I just gotta sort of rejig this whole place. I think we're gonna turn this whole area into a crop section. So I think I need to move some of this stuff over here to give us some space. Hmm. Actually, let me do some more planning on this. When it comes to the science section, we are knocking out this entire ring. This outer ring here, 
the way the tech tree works is, say, we want to get a technology under this tech lab. We want to get intelligent labs. Uh, this increases their science production, but importantly, this is a tier 3 tech, and the tier 3 unlock has to be complete. And what that means is, we need to complete this third ring. Once this third ring is every single thing in it is researched, not all the sub-components, just the main ones, that unlocks tier 3 research, which means we can get medium stockpiles and a bunch of other nice stuff. So there's loads of goodies. So actually knocking out these ones, even though we don't want some of them, is a good idea because it frees up subtext that we really want deeper down inside the tree, or, sorry, closer to the center of the tree. So that's why I'm knocking out mushroom walls and fire stations. I don't particularly want to build any of them. In fact, I'm not even sure what fire stations are for, though I'm sure I will find out. Once the tech becomes available, they will hit us with something that needs it. Oh, and I really need to clean this place up. Okay, over here we're doing some moving. We're uh, demolishing houses here and there, moving them to nicer places. We need to have set up ice stockpiles and food stockpiles all the way across in this. Oh, I need a way to dispose of waste. This thing produces an awful lot of waste, it seems. And we're probably going to implement a policy that makes even more waste. So we're going to need to get some recycling done as well. Well, this all went horribly wrong. Turns out, uh, I was kind of hoping that you could extend the fields on through each other. Like, say, hook up three of them here and then just put 27 fields stretching off them. No, there needs to be a continuous line between the first one and the last one. So we need to make some changes here. And by make some changes, I mean that's, uh, uh, I hate this. Like, the problem is we can't just delete one of these. We have to delete the entire fields, all the entire, everything. Like, everything goes. Yep. Yep. The whole thing. That just feels so wrong. Oh, my God. And while well, that's going on, actually, let's turn this one on. And we can start, oop. We can start doing is turn these two on and start actually building a few fields off them. Example, that one's going to have a field there, so we can put a field right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, is that right? There. That leaves nine spaces here for this next section of fields. Uh, can we cancel the destruction? You know what? Uh, I'm just going to leave it just in case it messes up the resource collection under that. That's going to recycle for a bunch of resources. Uh, right. We've also got two constructor bots here, so let's see if they can help out. While that's going on, we need to get on top of science. No, nope, this one. So, we have finally knocked out the Tier 3 ring. Actually, it's the fourth ring, technically, but it seems the inner two rings just count as one. Let's, ju let's just go with that, otherwise it gets too confusing. I think the first thing we want to do is go straight to tech labs. There is intelligent labs. Increases the production rate of science to five units of, out of every five cycles. This pays for itself in about 90 cycles. So in 90 cycles of runtime, this thing will actually pay for the 35 research it took cost to research it. Going up to computer optimization, that's a little bit more expensive. Um, this one will increase your science, but you have to knock out all of these first, I think. So you'll be paying a lot more science and it'll take a lot longer to pay for itself. But what we're looking for is lots of waste management stuff. We want to get big into recycling. We're going to be like super into our recycling. This stuff, it seems, we have to recycle it, otherwise it stops producing food, which is bad for our food production. At the same time, we can recycle that stuff into polymer. Hell yeah, we want lots and lots of polymer. Oh, and that's another thing we want to research while we're here. Uh, you. Next up, we want to go into polymer refining. Is it, no, not chemical. Is it chemical baths? Yes, you want chemical baths. That requires the tech lab upgrade, though, which we're already researching. But we want to increase our polymer production so that we can get more solar panels, so we can get more power. Yeah, you know what? Let me finish out these farms here. Uh, turn off some of the other farms elsewhere, and I think we'll have a better idea of where we're going. Oh, look! Injuries! Yay! As we have plowed down more and more fields, uh, something nice has happened. This place has become a food specialized area. Food production buildings require 10% less water and buildings produce 30% more waste. Which is good, because these things require water. Though I'm thinking the real benefit of these is they require a lot less power and employees to run. Now true they require the water and the power that goes into that, but still, it's overall we're gaining lots of employees and gaining power because every single one of these other farms over here that we're shutting down, we've already shut down three there, a bunch over here, like each one of these requires five power. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. That's 55 power we're saving right there. And it's costing us, okay, 64, 74, but we haven't actually brought all the farms online and we're at 137%, which means we can shut down a bunch more as well. I'll have to double check at the end, but I'm going to have to do a comparison to see what we're actually saving by doing this. Oh, and we also need one more thing. Waste management. Oh, and we're also going to need another thing on top of that. We need to increase morale. Uh, give me a... 
I want to put down a morale building. And there's one of them here. I think it's the genetics memorial. This one is good in a food area. For example, if we go under the memorials, it'll give you this... Ah, comp complementary in diversity. Provides plus one stability in a sector that has a Marduk memorial and a tier one industrial specialization. This one is plus one in stability for one that has a food specialization, as so long as you have the genetics... Canatus? What? Wow, they come up with some good names. Uh, you, genetics Canatus. We shall put you right there. And... That will give a mood boost. Then, once that mood boost is in place... Well, that's that's gonna take a minute to build. In fact, while that's building, we're gonna throw down a factory here. Where is it? Waste Treatment Center. Can transform either 50 waste into alloys, wi uh, polymer, or electronics. We can just squeeze that sucker in there. That's gonna take 15 power. Oh, God. And a lot of alloy. But it's fine. It's fine. This should allow us to take all the waste out of here and dump it into there. Uh, though we will have to make one change to our policies for that to take effect. Done. We now have a waste treatment plant. Uh, what we want to do is produce... Yes, yes, polymer. No, oh, we're going to need a stockpile for that. that. That's fine. That can be done. Now, uh, where are we going to put our... You know what? You can be polymer over here. Why not? Go for it. Now, one last thing we need, though, is we need to be able to store the waste. We need an intermediate place. The problem is you can't just take waste directly out of a building and dump it into a waste treatment plant. For some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just part of the game mechanics. And as well as that, you can't even collect waste at all unless you enable this first. Waste recycling. Waste can be stored in stockpiles. However, this will give us a minus one stability. And uh, just waste destruction is what happens when a building clogs up with it. It just purges it. It takes it a day or so to get rid of it, but once it's done, it's gone. This way... We get to recycle the stuff, and because we're a food area, all our buildings produce more waste, which gives us more stuff to recycle. So trash is basically good. You get to recycle it for good stuff. Done. Now, that'll take a minute, but you, you can store recycling. Or waste. And that means any waste that ends up in buildings. This one has eight. Anyone want to go along and grab that? Where is that waste coming from, then? No, 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 they're definitely taking it out, and then they're bringing it straight over here where it's going to get turned into polymer. Once we have 50, it'll get turned into polymer. Though, that means we need to do some more technology stuff. Uh, we are currently researching chemical baths. Yeah. Well, that one will give us... That means the polymer we have already on site, or the, the carbon, we can turn it into polymer, and it'll give us 5 polymer for every 4 carbon. Which is a nice upgrade. It's a 20% increase in the amount of polymer we're getting. We're going to want a lot of polymer. Then this, with well, the second upgrade, will allow us to turn 20... get us... 25 polymer out of every 50 waste. So we're basically turning our food into polymer. Oh. Repair. Immediately. Um, This is our mess hall. When's the next feeding schedule? Yeah, people are going to be hungry. Yeah, that's a bit nervous making because if the people don't get their food, they get a little bit antsy and they're pantsy and, you know, they come and start lynching you and stuff. What? He died in an accident? Where? Oh. The mess hall. We had plenty of space. Is this place overworked? Workers 149 required 141 required 139. I'll grab some more crew in here, but oh damn it, that's awkward. We've now lost 11 people. One other great tech we can get is while the rate waste recycling policy is in effect, quarters produce waste at a rate of one waste per 20 inhabitants over 15 cycles. This means our own people will produce waste that we can turn into polymer. Or alloys or, you know, any sort of stuff. Oh, and I can start turning off some more of these. Uh, you guys, off. And you guys, off. And off. Once we ripped out all of that, we're able to stick in one of these EVA airlocks. Uh, that will bring us up to three in this sector, which should make it cheaper for us to repair. Right now, hull repairs are costing us six alloy per cycle. Uh, six alloys per cycle. So we'll see if that should bring it down. It should also change our specialization. We should get a space specialization or something. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Also, we're moving all the population out of here. Um, yeah, all the non-useful workers, like there's four in the population here. I say we take some of that and we cram them into sector... Th oh, actually, sorry. There's about 40 or 50 non-useful population here. We're going to cram those into sector three as much as possible. We're, s we're chucking the housing in there. We just need to get ourselves a little bit more alloy to, uh, to build even more housing, to chuck in even more people, to produce even more waste. That will give us more of this uh, lovely, lovely polymer. And once they've got that, we're going to dump all the polymer in here and build ourselves another solar panel or two. 
So I've been fiddling around here to try and figure out how we can cut down on our outgoings, as in the amount of stuff we're spending on repair. And what I did was I disabled some of these things to try and cut back, but eh, it doesn't help as much as I thought it would. Right, from EVA airlocks, one at 82% efficiency. So we're getting plus 39 from one, plus 3.9 from the space specialization. Putting in this extra thing, even though it's disabled, still gives us a space specialization. Plus five from optimal working conditions. Minus five for working hours policy set to intense, which, well, okay, fair enough. However, if we turn, say, this one back on, uh, that brings us up to, yeah, we're in balance, but now we're spending seven hull, seven alloys. Hmm. I think I'm going to let this run down a bit more and see where it evens out. If we just have one running, will that actually be cheaper or more expensive? Hmm. We'll find out. I want to do a little bit of playing around. We might be able to coast by here and using recycling to generate our alloys. Not yet, but soon. We might want to actually find more people though first. One thing I would like to do as well is cram more people in here, uh, just so we can get more recycling out of them or more waste. So I think what we're going to grab is Demotic Quarters. Houses up to 91 crew members in high quality accommodation. Yes, please. And yep, we're still scanning as well like crazy. Hull integrity below 50%. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. Once it starts getting to 25, I'll get concerned, but I wonder if we'll even out by then. All repairs at 4%. Yeah, we're four alloy per cycle repairing it. I'm just trying to cut back on our alloy consumption to see how long we can hold out out here. So over here, we've almost got enough. Actually, we do have enough of this polymer to upgrade our ship. However, or upgrade our solar panels. I think we need to maybe beef up the hull a little bit before we do that. Problem is the... Uh, the hull's not looking too good because we can let it degrade. Well, okay, I'm working on the power issue, guys. Uh, what are power we at? That I probably could have avoided quite easily. We were too power, power shy. Restored. Yeah, my bad. My bad, guys. A little bit of power shuffling done, and we can finally stick on that solar panel. These things are getting incredibly expensive. I think the last ones were about 75. Now it's 225 polymer for these ones, and four of those microchips. Yes, uh, hull repair will be temporarily paused. Uh, I'm fine with that. What's our hull at? Uh, never mind. It'll go down a little bit while we're doing this, but then it'll start repairing back up again. As for steel production, we're up to the most efficient form of it here, where we get... It takes 10 iron to make 15 of our steel... Sorry, alloy, whatever they call it. I'm just going to keep calling it steel by accident. So this is going quite efficiently, though when it comes to actually fighting this stuff... We got about 353 out there to, that has been mined and ready to harvest. 2,779 that needs to be mined. Uh, we got a bunch of ice we got to bring in as well. We got five cargo vessels going. We still can't bring in this stuff fast enough. I feel like opening up another section just so we can get more cargo vessels to bring in this stuff quick enough. But no, 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 no. We can do a little bit more searching. There's got to be population in this sector somewhere. Oh, finally, we found a whole bunch of people. This is good. This is very good. Um. Oh, it's on the opposite side of the system, though. I think we're going to move. Like, one thing I've noticed here is that... Well, I stayed exactly still last time around. That was kind of inefficient. I think what we should do is maybe hopscotch over to here. What's the distance to there? It's about three cycles. I'll double check to make sure we have enough battery power, but assuming we do, we hopscotch over here. That puts us in the middle of this sector, which puts us a lot closer to, say... Oh, there's a bunch of iron ore, or, like, all this stuff here. It also gives us a shorter trip to there. Then we can hopscotch over here and just basically strip mine the place, but move the ship as we do it. As long as we've got enough battery power, we can... Ooh, she might go over here as well. No, no. We're going to pop over there first and grab all the people. Those extra people are going to generate a whole bunch more waste, which we can use for a bunch of fun stuff. Hopefully. So the first thing I did was make sure we had enough batteries everywhere. For example, this one will support us for 0.7 of a cycle, and then we have, well, six of them. Uh, in here we've got one, two, three, four, five batteries, and each one of them will support us for 0.6 of a cycle. Uh, so it should be about three cycles or so, and in here, yep, plenty. So basically we don't want to be traveling any further than three, three cycles. If we go further than that, we might get power outages. That's 3.6, that's three, it's where we can hopscotch, that's 2.7, that's more of a, a sideways than anything else. As far as I can tell, you can't go to anything but planets. You just sort of have to go to planets, so... Yeah, let's go for it. And yes, beautiful cinematic, but we don't care. We're just going to skip that. We've seen that a few times already. So then we hop inside here and we can check our batteries. Our batteries are currently going down. That's fine. Everything's still 
running. No one is complaining. Oh, and that looks very interesting this time around. All right, never mind. Let's uh, let's see how close we get before our batteries run out. Entering extreme low temperature environment. Uh, what? Oh right, maybe we shouldn't have come here. What's that going to do to hull integrity? Okay, that um, maybe we shouldn't have went all that way. Uh, okay, let's hope this keeps working. Ooh, I mean, we can hide behind a planet, right? That should be. Whoa, where are you coming from? You're bringing back ice. Well, that's great. Uh, let's just make sure everyone gets to where they're going. Let's make sure our battery power does not run out. Oh god, you're at point two. You're at point three. This is the. Hmm. Uh. How are we looking, people? Anyone? Oh god. Okay, we got 25 power there. We got 40 power there. Okay. We've landed. Excellent. Uh. Alright, I think hull integrity may be affected by weather conditions. Yeah, I'm not seeing any additional damage showing up there. Uh, repair costs are 8, which what it was before. Actually, I think they've gone down to 7. I think we're going to train up a few more colonists in a bit. We've already got about 30, but I think we're going to need about 60 for some of the missions we're going to plan on doing. Oh, yeah, maybe staying in here was not such a good idea. Park on the other side of the planet. Come on, there's like a whole dark... Hmm. We need to talk to the captain about that. So, battery's recharged. Everyone insane. good to go. Let's pop right over here, shall we? shall we? All power from the main grid will be diverted. Yeah, we'll be running on batteries for two cycles. Okay, at least have one look at this shiny takeoff animation. It is pretty cool. Alright, you. Start your moving. Our ships will catch up. Our miners will do their thing. Yeah, you're mining ice. One of you should be off mining ore. I've tried to set them up so that one of our miners, like, you see it here, they should always prioritize ore if it's about, and then one of them will have a, an equal opportunity to get ice, namely because they're the two things that keep us alive. Ice gives us food, ore gives us, well, the metal we need to survive. We've also made a couple of other minor changes in here. Why does it look like it's raining? Uh, uh, we've switched the recyclers over to... Ah, damn it. Wow. Okay, that is actually very atmospheric. That's some nice looking solar panels you got there. It'd be a shame if someone were to take them. What? Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Oh, that is wonderful. What is your new request for us? I uh, eventually realized they actually show up down here so you can tell which sector they're in. It saves you a bunch of time looking around and then you gotta... Where is it? There you are. Sector 1 has 98 cryonic pods in storage. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Pledge to awaken 100 cryopods in Sector 1 within 24 cycles. Well, yeah. No problems. That's pretty much why we're here. That's why... Uh. Muppets. We're going to end up with a whole bunch of people, though, over here in storage. That might annoy the people in this sector, but I don't care. What's your happiness level at? we got plus two happiness. That's fine. We can also change some things if we really need to. This place has been set to recycling as well, so any waste that's produced here, we rip it out and we dump it in over here. And this place has been switched over to making alloy. It takes 40 waste and spits out 50 alloy, and we have so much alloy now, it's crazy. Excellent. Now, uh, there was one research thing they wanted us to do, wasn't it? They wanted to research the retractable periscope pole. Did I leave enough resources for that? Uh, retractable periscope pole. Yep, there you go. Then they want us to perform a colonization test. We'll do that in a bit. We have to save the Pythagoras. Protagoras. Repair the superstructure, provide resources, mine the ice, uh, research the retractable telescope. Grand, grand, grand. All this is stuff we can do. Compare the superstructure. You want 100 resources. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, you don't have 100 in that sector? Fine, we will get 100 into that sector. Yeah, our power dropped out there because the last solar panel got damaged. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. It's currently being repaired, but... Uh, 
Yeah, it took out our power, which made everyone unhappy. For a little bit. Alright, how are we doing on that mission? Done, we've talked to the elders. What did we get? What did we learn? Well, great, we just lost two crew members. That's, um... Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Two people is fine. I probably shouldn't have done that mission, but I'm not going to reload anything. Re-establish internal infrastructure, food distribution, and reboot the core systems. Yeah, we can afford that. Go for it. Damn it. I gotta figure out which ship is which. I, I need to know which docking bay they're coming out of, otherwise it gets really confusing. Uh, which one's got the most space? I think this one has a little bit of play room, so maybe Lucian. Lucian Diages or whatever their name is. Oh, after far too much fiddling around with the docks, we've managed to a get everything done. Okay, the resources necessary for the well-being of the prot Protagoras crew have been brought aboard. The station's core systems are now online and operational. How long have they been living on this thing? So it seems like some people can't stay. Like a whole bunch of people just want to stay on this wreck in the middle of space and just live there, which, okay, fair enough. Uh, some of them, though, do want to leave and join us. So... Okay... Where's the people who want to leave and join us? Oh, there they are, perfect. In that case, Waste Treatment Center has been disabled in Sector 3 due to an accident. Yep, yeah, well, we'll sort that in a minute. Alright, people are going to end up in here. I want to make sure we've got enough storage space for a lot of them. Ah, we got 600 housing in this section. Yeah, 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 we can handle them. Alright, so it looks like about 80 to 100 people are coming up. We'll check them in here, and then we're getting out of here. We'll probably pop over to DeVille. There's some sort of uh, colonization mission that's also going to require a bunch of resources, so... Yeah, I'd rather have our ship for that, plus it gets us out of this annoying freezing thing that keeps destroying our solar panels. Done. Finished. Finito. Let's get out of here. Uh, engage the engines. We're heading over this direction. Yeah, we can't stop any of those. We'll just go straight over to DeVille 59. 2.2 cycles. We can handle it. That That is a hell of a parking job they did. It's just like someone just sort of rammed it into the asteroid and said, yep, we'll just park it right there. So I think they were fleeing from someone according to the lore. Uh, basically, your entire Delos organization became evil, everyone came chasing after you and uh, murdering you. Because your engines cause cataclysms every time you use them. So... Okay, we'll, we'll just move away from Protagoras then. Protagoras before we activate the engines. Maybe maybe not around Deville either. This place over here, I've been hanging around it for a while, but we haven't been able to do anything with it. The reason being, it wants us to put down 60 colonists. So, the, the resources are fine, it's the colonists that are the problem. You see, if we go onto the ship, what we need to do is build one of these things. We've researched it. It's a colonization training center. You teach people how not to die when they go down to planets. You know, don't step on any banana peels. The, the usual. Uh, but it does cost you 15 colonists and one of those microchip things. And those microchip things are pretty rare. We've got three, or was it four in the entire station? So that's not a lot. Plus they cost a lot to make. There's not a lot of the resources in the system. And just in general, it, it's not a cheap thing to do. So we need to spend about four of these to get the 60 colonists necessary to colonize this planet. We're going to do it, it's just uh, I don't like doing it. And over here, hmm, I think we start to need to start storing up this extra alloy. I mean, this place is just pumping this stuff out. Well, this food production has slowed down just a tiny tad. What are we at? Oh my god. I may have defrosted a few too many people. Uh, we need more farming. Um, we might actually have to open up another sector just to make more farming. We actually need more power as well. And sort of one of the problems is uh, we're limited a lot on power right now. So how much was that other solar panel going to cost us? I think one thing it might be nice to knock out is thermal regulation. 2.5% increase in solar panel power. Also, we might want to reduce the cost of solar panels. So uh, let's just queue up both of those. Right now, our plan is very, very simple. We've cleaned out most of the missions in the system. We just got to finish off this one, and then we're going to have to fly over there. Uh, yeah, scouts can't get through there. Your little science ships, they try and fly through that, they uh, they pop. I may have reloaded my game after the first ship touched that and just, you know, disintegrate it. So I think we have to fly our ship in there, take some damage going through, and then do the missions. Uh, we'll probably jump out after that, but first I want to strip mine this entire area. We want as much resources as possible. We want to be able to stay here as long as possible so that we can use this lab to generate as much research as possible. So we're trying to rig ourselves for efficiency. Which means I think we're going to have to open up another sector. I know that's going to increase our consumption, but we have a bunch of people we can't defrost right now. Namely because we can't afford to feed them. Um, our food production is 87%, so we're going to need to put down a bunch of food production. But we don't have enough... We'd have to put down more water. Like, the, the amount of infrastructure required 
is huge. So instead, what we're going to do is open up another sector and put the infrastructure in there. By skimping, saving, and putting down a few more insect farms, we've got our food back up to the point where we're not actually running out anymore. Crisis averted for now, though we have paused all our cryogenic stuff. Now, let's uh, go colonize this place. We are going to go with the advanced colony, and that gets rid of 60 colonists, so... Yay. In fact, we are so overdone with colonists right about now that, um... Yep, yeah, we're, we're not even... We, we've turned off the smelters, we've stopped collecting iron, we've collect, stopped collecting ice. And right now we're churning out a whole bunch of this stuff. Polymer. That uh, polymer we're sending over here so that we can make more of our solar panels. So that we can get more power, because we've got to open up a new sector soon. We've also researched the stuff that makes this cheaper, so it's 202... Yeah, 202 resin and 4 processors. Still bloody expensive, though. Those processors are going to cripple us. Uh, we need more processor production. We might end up, like, basically what we're doing is we're taking water, turning it into food, which generates us a bunch of waste. So we're turning the water into waste, which we can then turn into a variety of things, including polymer, or even maybe some electronics, though. I think we might want to get a research or two along that one before we start doing electronics. You see, uh, under the research here, we can go into waste treatment, and we could get nanofilters. Uh, recycling electronics is 20% faster. Actually, no, no, that's not worth it at all at all. All right, all right, all right, but what, what is the overarching plan for our remaining time in this system? Well, the strip mining, all that is a given, but what we really want to do is become infinitely sustainable, if possible. Uh, just, just follow me here now on this. Our population produces waste. So we could take that waste and feed it into the waste treatment center and make alloy, and then use that alloy to repair the ship over here in the, whatever, the airlock thingies. So that means we could literally not have to mine any alloy and still be able to repair our ship. Indefinitely. In theory, assuming you have enough population, we'd have to stack a few bonuses, maybe get a few extra pieces of tech. Actually, double checking, I think we've got most of the relevant tech re related to recycling, except for maybe this one. But that one's more, that'll be more temporary. We won't be able to keep the crop farms running indefinitely. Reason being, those crop farms require water. Water is a limited resource. Well, ice is the limited resource. So instead what we do have to do is switch everyone back over to bug farms, because bug farms are infinite. Now there is these mushroom walls, but yeah, they run on waste and we need the waste for it. We might be able to use a little bit of that tech, but uh, never mind. The main thing is the insect farms. They just cost power. But we're going to need a lot of power to run all of those, so we're going to need more power. To get the more power, we're going to need a lot of resin. Now, well, polymer, sorry, I keep calling it resin. So we need polymer and we're going to need microchips, the electronics, namely because we want to go outside the ship and put down more solar panels to provide us with more power. Now we've researched most of the tech that helps us on that front, we've still got mm, actually a few of them left to go, but we should be able to stick on, oh, let's just check on the solar panel here, we do have the polymer and we do have the chips, that's an extra 51 power for the ship. So what we want to do is take all the water that's out there, and all the polymer, and all the microchips, and take all the water, turn it into waste, to turn it into polymer, microchips, and get all the solar panels. Max out all of our solar panels right now. That gives us enough power that when we open up this sector, we can fill it full of bug farms to feed everyone, so that when the water runs out, we can turn off these farms and still have enough food to feed all of our population that we will have defrosted. we still got seven popsicles on ice. And that should give us enough waste, assuming we get some bonuses and stacks on top of each other, to produce enough iron or alloy that we can keep repairing the hole indefinitely and never die so that our science lab can just sit here for the next thousand cycles churning out science so that we can knock out all the science before we go to the next level. And that's all stuff I'm going to have to figure out off screen because that seems like really long, time-consuming, boring stuff. But I'll, I'll figure it out and we'll kind of summarize it when we get back. But that is the plan. Anyway, uh, I probably won't be getting back to this until about Wednesday next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, I want to get Rimworld out of the way with. And then I want to do, and if possible, get in an episode of Star Sector. I've still got that guy Kaiser Soze. Still haven't found him, but, you know, always holding out hope. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. Hope you have a good weekend and uh, good luck. <laughs>